I'm pleased to be here. I would like to thank uh, Geekend who invited us. So uh, I'm uh, Frederick Jard, who I'm CEO of uh, Theo Technology, and I'm here with uh, Adam uh, Badberg, uh, that is a software engineer at Narek. And uh, so we are basically our, soft, uh, our, um, our company is doing image recognition. So uh, we are going to present you what we, um, how we think is we should apply image recognition to the to the mobile world and uh, show you some uh, cool application that we have been doing with some of our clients. So uh, before we start, I've, I've uh, passed around some cards and uh, it's, it's a great demo to demonstrate how image recognition works um, or a use case of it. Um, what you can do is basically take, um, take a picture of the card or any, any uh, nice uh, collateral at uh, Geekend and what you want to do is then uh, mention GeekSnap on Twitter and then send the picture. And what you'll get back is, in a mention, is some more information about the, the event. And uh, this, is, this is a great way to uh, promote campaigns and such like that. It's a simple, quick. And the funny part of what we just did is that we, uh, we just activate a, a real object. And that's, that's, that's the idea behind uh, image recognition in that sense is that you can take any object of the real world and you can activate it. So you can basically by taking the picture of um, that, the, the, the anything, you can, you can make it real, you can make it digital, and then there is a link, you click on the object. So that's, that's the main idea. So uh, back, from the, back from the beginnings when we, when we started uh, LTU, so I was uh, in 2000, we, uh, we were a few researchers to uh, passionate about uh, image processing and uh, the real idea was to, uh, th that, that was a pitch of our, uh, the, the beginning was like image is worth a thousand words, that's, uh, that's the, the easy sentence. And, uh, but th the, the real thing is that it contains really a lot of information, so we'll go through that. And, uh, and the, the other thing that's important is that there is no language, so that was the main idea when we started the company. And uh, uh, nowadays, one of the, um, our competitor, when we are compared to, is really a QR code. And uh, if you think about QR code, and that's, that's what we, uh, we show to uh, our, our prospect, is, uh, is really QR code is really the way you want to see uh, life. And, uh, and main brands that we are working with don't really like QR code, so that's okay. But uh, uh, I think that it's better to, uh, to give a snapshot more like this, who am I? And, uh, and with uh, like few images, it's very uh, clear to make sense of uh, the visual content because in, in a few images you can summarize someone's life very easily. And that's, that's partly who am I with uh, a, nice, a, nice, a nice order and, uh, and uh, I'm, I'm trying maybe too much and uh, I, I, I enjoy wine. So uh, that's, and, uh, so that's, and I have uh, nice colleagues. And so um, I think that's what we intend by um, all these images and uh, and if you look at uh, all my uh, iPhone images, there's more of uh, one level because that's my passion. So I, I could try to collect uh, wines and I'm uh, passionate and take pictures of everything. So in a few images, uh, here I am. Yeah, and, and you can see with uh, my set of images, basically, um, my snapshot of my life, um, it's easier to, easier to represent someone via an image than like a QR code or via text because there could also be language barriers um, between different countries. I have friends that post a lot of things in uh, different languages that I don't understand, but what it comes down to is I, I understand the pictures a lot more often. And this especially happens when people share pictures on Facebook. It's, it's a great tool, actually, to share images. And as you can see, that um, a lot of people, you know, one moment might like the Mets, the next moment they like the New York Yankees, or uh, one moment they're single, the next moment they're in a relationship. Um, as you can see with the timeline, uh, you don't really have to go in their profile and you, you spot it right off the bat, uh, basically. Uh, it's a great tool for sharing. And yeah, so picture is a really, really great uh, story teller. And uh, we, what we have seen this year is that we have all these great uh, new applications and uh, this application around photo has changed really the way we, uh, we, we, do the, we, we take photo. It's so easy for, with a smartphone to, uh, to take photo. And, uh, uh, before we were using like more like Flickr, Picasso, and the goal was really to, to collect images of what we are doing and to, uh, to, to build albums. And uh, with this new uh, application, the goal is really to take picture and share. And these applications, so I'm using Instagram, and uh, they, they don't have any website. You don't, you don't collect your images. What you would like to do is you, you want to share a moment, you want to really send a message. So it's more like a messaging tools 
than uh, really photo, uh, photo collection. It's really, uh, I take a picture, I send a picture to someone and I send him a message. And that's really what it's all about. And um, this photo being the center of uh, some like co great communication process, it's also the center of great new application. And, uh, and that's the idea. The, the, the thing is, when you have your uh, iPhone, you have so many applications, and you have new applications coming all the time. And to differentiate all these applications, have to make things very simple. And one could be uh, take a picture. So uh, you take a picture, you share it. Uh, and uh, and what we can see, like the, the application, like Nosh, is really something where you would like to share your. Uh, food experience, restaurant experience, and instead of saying I'm in this restaurant and say I eat something over there and it's really good. So just by taking the picture of the, f of the food that you make, the whole application very simple more than it was before. So uh, that's the idea about around this uh, application where you will like more like object, object spotting than photo sharing but using the photo. So there's actually a, a great video on YouTube uh, called Jotly. It's, it's actually it's trying to show off an app that doesn't exist. And I think that it's, it, it's a great way of showing that um, when people want to rate stuff with pictures by taking a picture of everything and then rate it. And it, it's something that um, would be great to have now, but we're not there yet. So say you want to rate a friend or rate like a parking meter or like, um, like a cat, for instance. Um, <laughs> uh, it's one of those great tools, but uh, those things kind of require like object recognition and stuff that we're not there yet, but this is like the end goal, kind of where we want to go with yeah, it. You have to, you have to check the video, it's very funny. It's, yeah, it's yeah. rating everything. Um, so, um, but, so we understand that uh, the, the main idea behind image recognition will be to, to be able to tag the content of the, of the images. And, uh, and um, when we started our company, I mean, that was the main idea, was really uh, uh, tagging the object, recognize what's inside the object, that's computer vision. Um, it's possible to recognize faces that's already integrated, but we were more like uh, understanding the content of the object. But there is like a, a semantic problem. There's a, first of all, there's a, a, a cultural barrier, cultural meaning in the images. I mean, that's a friend of mine is uh, his French living in New York, and he, he was like tried uh, he, uh, this, this guy for, for there was his costume for Halloween. Uh, I think it's it's very funny, but uh, that's really the that's. The only way to understand it is really to, uh, to be involved in uh, that. I mean, we are the only way to, to understand. And there are some advanced computer vision uh, algorithm where they could say, hey, this, there is, it's, it has been taken in, inside. Uh, there is a, a man and a woman, and, uh, and there is dress and a suit. But the, the, the main idea is really that uh, it's like TSK, a scary, <laughs> scary character of, uh, for Halloween. Uh, another example that you know, is very uh, relevant to us is that we have, um, we are all, as, as an image recognition company, as a technology provider, we, a lot of people come to us and say, I want to recognize uh, looks in the street. I want to be able to, uh, I like this bag, I take a picture of it, and uh, I want to be able to buy it. And that's really one of our first things that people ask to us. And, uh, and the one thing is that it's just impossible because it's soft object and it's, it's really uh, complex. And the other thing is that it's really, all, everything is about details. It's, about, it's very subtle. I mean, look at, if you look at this, there, there's, the computer will never be able to get exactly what makes something fashion and what makes something else not fashion at all. So um, in that case, what, I mean, the best thing that has been done is really crowdsourcing. Um, I'm sure you guys could figure out which one of these are not fashionable. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's, that's another one. I, pre I was preparing the, the presentation and I found that on my iPhone. And, uh, and basically, uh, just I'm the only one to, uh, to, to, to know what it means to me. Because uh, so we, we've been bought by a Japanese company in 2005. And I was in Japan. By then, I was uh, smoking. And in Tokyo, if you need to smoke, you have to be in this, uh, this confined square area where you are all alone. and. That's, that's, that's the whole story about the picture. I was really alone and I felt alone smoking my cigarette outside. And, uh, and I think that, um, and, and that's something a, a computer will maybe delete this image. And, uh, and the, the, the thing is that uh, when there's many studies about how we can, people can organize their picture on their computer. And, uh, and at the end, the only way and the relevant way to organize your picture on a computer is really to organize it by event, by date. 
uh, tagging images doesn't make sense for personal usage because you will never get what people take a picture. You don't want to have a cluster of images with uh, birthday cake. You don't want to have a uh, cluster of uh, images with uh, just one person or something outside. Doesn't make sense. So uh, at the end, uh, in that case, image recognition doesn't make sense when you, when you think about it with image tagging, recognizing really what's in the image. And what we really uh, are working on is, is different. So until we are able to solve this great problem of being as good as human as understanding what's in the image and making sense of it, um, we need to solve a simple problem. That's a cartoon we made in, um, when we created the company, and that's, that was like more than 10 years ago. And, uh, and the idea was very simple. It was based on uh, content-based image retrieval, so searching visual insights uh, uh, an image database. And uh, the, I mean, the cartoon is great, we really loved it, but uh, it's just, uh, at that time, that was very, uh, very difficult. We, had, we did some like, crazy demonstration to people where we would uh, take their tie in picture with a palm pilot, with the plug in on the palm pilot, and then plug on with the USB, maybe that was not USB at that time, and plug on the computer, and then try to find similar tie which was like only based on, uh, on the color, and we couldn't categorize the objects, so we were like uh, giving a t-shirt, anything that looks like the same, and uh, that was our time, and uh, that was, then we, um, then we concentrate on other things that were more, uh, at that time we were called uh, Looks That Up, contracted to LTU like uh, IBM, and uh, we, uh, we end up working with uh, more uh, serious stuff with a uh, government like um, child pornography where we were uh, providing image recognition to uh, search in inside known child pornography images and very uh, serious things about uh, also uh, uh, stolen art things. And it all came back with more and uh, that was like three years ago we, uh, we had um, a lot of uh, uh, new technology that we could be implemented on the on the mobile, uh, new uh, mobile were uh, connected to, uh, to to the to internet, and uh, there was a camera. So we started again with uh, all these uh, great application. Now, basically linking uh, to mobile, I mean, uh, what it started off with was using like SMS and short codes and all that, where you could link like real world applications um, to more information. Um, then it start. Then, then it went off to QR codes, 2D codes. Now people are using NFC, near field communication, to like pay stuff with it or get more information. But the problem with all of that is um, you need to like alter the, the content of what you want to um, uh, express and show to other people. So that's what the, one of the cool thing about um, images is um, you have images everywhere. Um, you don't have to change them. They're they're the way they are. Um, such as uh, this ad commit campaign. Um, it works on printed material, it's um, no need to change it. Um, you don't need to put any QR codes on it, no, no chips on it or anything like that. And basically anything could be activated, um, whether it's already been printed or uh, if you're in the process of printing it, like, like all the um, images here um, created by BFG, we've managed to activate all that content via our uh, Twitter um, uh, demo. So we didn't have to alter any of those images to add like a little QR code to get more information. And also the cool thing about it is you can do it from a distance. So you don't have to like go up close to the, to the image itself. So you can just do it from like at leisure from like quite a distance. It's great for like billboards, advertisements in, in the streets and stuff like that. Or like these ones here, you probably take it from your seat. So, so yeah, uh, so if we go into the details the, on how it works, uh, Basically, it's, it's based on interest key points. Uh, what we do is uh, find an image. I mean, that's 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 uh, that's state of the art science. And then what we do is we take uh, these uh, interesting points, like what the human will do is uh, edges, uh, corners, anything that is particular to the to the image, to the object we would like to recognize. And whenever we want to to search a new image, we'll do the same. And then we just compare the points and are they are they the same and are they positioned the same. Um, one, and this is working very well on all rigid 2D object or real 2D like a uh, bottle of wine or any, uh, anything, but it has to be, uh, has to be rigid. So if we uh, talk about what we sell and the way we could integrate it, it's really, uh, 
it's, it's quite similar to Google Google. I mean, it's, it's just kind of the same technology. Uh, we are not competing with, com competing with, with Google. I mean, what they are trying to do is, um, I mean, like what they always did is really like large search engine with as many, as many as images as they, they can. Uh, the main problem of image recognition is it's very CPU demanding. So uh, I don't think that they, they managed to put everything in their index because that's, that's a lot. And, um, and, and but, but for us, it was great, as I was telling, I mean, we're like a pioneer on the image recognition side. We struggle to, uh, uh, to educate the market and to tell to people that uh, image recognition is working. And, uh, and it happens that uh, Google, Google came, and now uh, people just know it's working and it's easier to sell. And the main differentiator with what we are doing is that we are working, we want to be the, the image search engine of every application on the mobile. So when you are on, on, on your any application like a catalog, you can search by text, and we want to let the applications search by image. So like um, uh, to be integrated more like in a in closed closed world of images of a catalog, for example. So um, that's what we propose to our clients: so be, be added to an existing application or branded application, but. Obviously, you can use it very differently by with Twitter. Uh, very easy to, uh, to 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 create a marketing campaign, or even by email. Send an email to an address and get back the answer. And um, the whole thing is really to try to uh, concentrate in terms of marketing campaign. Try to concentrate the attention of the end user on the image. I take an image of something of a product and of an, an image. So it's great now that we know that it works and how it works. The question comes to like, um, where can we use it? So. It's, it's, we can use it in product packaging. Um, so what you could do is you could take a picture of a product that you want to buy, or if you're not sure about, you could look up reviews online instead of like typing in the, the code itself or um, the, the name of the product. Um, you could also check out um, different prices at different locations. Um, it's one application. You don't have to alter the, uh, the product packaging themselves to add this information. Uh, another one is movie posters. Uh, you see movie posters everywhere, and sometimes you see a poster and you want to see a movie trailer. Uh, so you could just point and click your phone to the movie poster, and then you just watch a trailer. If you like it, you could probably buy um, buy a ticket for it. Eventually, so yeah, and um, that's that's just one. So some of uh, application are really key to uh, to us because the, the the use case really makes sense for image recognition. One of them is uh, shop from printed catalog and. Uh, um, this one is, is from Laredo, this French catalog, but uh, we have signed with um, Jessica London and uh, another catalog um, system in, um, in Germany. And the uh, catalogs are quite still used in many countries, and you receive a lot by uh, your mailbox. And uh, on the Laredo application, before they create their uh, iPhone application, and when you want, wanted to buy from the catalog, you had to enter the seven digit code of any product you wanted to buy. And the whole idea now is that you can take picture of any product in the catalog and just buy it. And in that case, I mean, the use case is really good for uh, image recognition because really adding QR code everywhere in the catalog will, make, will not make sense. You will prefer to buy it and directly from the catalog. And there are some other countries where, for example, in Japan, there's many American brands that enter in Japan through their catalogs. They don't want to build a, uh, a website. They would prefer they prefer to create to, to send catalogs over there where people could could buy directly because it's still still quite famous. Um, Another great application is um, is wine. So uh, in that case, that's uh, at least true for friends that most of the time you don't have any barcode or QR code on the wine label. Uh, the other thing is if you are drinking an old bottle of wine, it won't have QR code or barcode. And uh, and also it's because people tend to you do it. I mean, where you are in a nice restaurant, you are enjoying nice bottle of wine. You like it. You like to, to share it with your friends. Usually we. Will take a picture of it and then you post it on, on Facebook and, and there's a lot of images of this kind of on Facebook and that's more, so this application is it's quite small, it's called Skodali, but it's more like a social network around wine. I like this bottle, uh, I would like to share that with friends, I can rate it, I can rate the wine and hopefully someone can, a retailer can try, try to find this one and sell it to me. So uh, that's the other application in the world around wine and it's really makes, it really makes sense. Um, Another obvious application, and that's something that um, makes, sense, makes sense to us, is uh, really art. Uh, you can, so in that case, uh, the application is called Collectrium, and uh, it's really for uh, art collectors, people that 
have a lot of money and they are collecting art, they go to art fair, uh, modern art, they take pictures of everything and they would like to remember, know the price and then make the shopping list with, uh, with, with this. And, but I mean the application is, is really uh, obvious. You are in a foreign country, you are visiting a museum, you have your own audio guide, you uh, move around in the, in the museum and you take pictures of anything and then you will really send the story of the, of, of, of the, of the painting. So can apply where you don't have access to the, the, con to the content itself, so I mean, you cannot change the, 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 muse the museum itself, but you can add content to the, to, to the visit, enhance the visit. And, and also we have, uh, we have done the same in, in Netherlands with a small museum where they didn't want to print out all explanation and they just use one of our um, standard applications to activate the, the, the paintings. So I mean, usually uh, not everyone is interested in selling paintings. Um, one of the best case scenarios is using um, games. Um, ESRB is a rating company, and so they don't usually have access to all the product packaging. So they can't necessarily change the product packaging to add like some kind of uh, QR code or uh, NFC and stuff like that. So they could activate the games and basically take a picture of the game cartridge and return back some relevant information. Mostly uh, these ratings, some parents don't understand what they mean, so they could take a picture of the game and then figure out more information on what those ratings mean, and probably link to more information about the game and other things like that. Um, another interesting, powerful um, use of image recognition is to engage with users. Um, one, one of our um, uh, clients actually were using a campaign for Giorgio Armani Cologne, and what they wanted to do was actually collect some emails, so the best way to do it was to um, ask for it, <laughs> and um, what they did in return was actually give free samples. So the best way to do it is take a picture of a magazine um, advertisement, and then re ask for information, and then um, send some cologne. I mean, this this engagement uh, that's just the beginning of engaging users um, with using image recognition. Yeah, and actually the main idea behind it is that these uh, these company like Giorgio Armani they spend so much in creating the ads. Most of the time, they don't like your record. They, they want to. Um, they want the end user, the, cons the consumer, to focus on the ad, focus on the visual, and then pi take picture of the visual makes sense to them, more than adding a QR code that was not always very, uh, very nice. Um, that's another example that uh, a, cl a client of us called Adflexo in Canada, and uh, they want to, to be able to activate any ads, any magazine, and then sell uh, the like advertising on their application to uh, to e e every brand and uh, and. That's, that's still the concept of engaging the consumer, the consumer with the brand and also that and they are trying to find new way to do that and image recognition is nice because it, it's, it's fun and people like to do it and also because they don't have to change the magazine so you basically you can build a, a whole business model around uh, any printed materials. Uh, that's another one. It's a game we um, organized in the uh, candy bar store in New York so uh, that was some visual to find um, in the in the store itself, that was a scan feature hunt, and when you have found um, the two visuals, then you would uh, um, send email to uh, take a picture of the uh, of, of the visuals, send by email to a certain address, get get and get coupons when you go to the to the uh, to, to pay the, the candies. And the whole idea behind it for uh, Dylan's candy bar was to get the email uh, email address of all their cons con consumers. And in the same way, you can. Uh, work with the brands, the, the, with the with the brands, and um, um, take picture of like sell that to Coca Cola, so they will like play with the with the logo and organize such game all around their logos. Well, most of you guys already tried the uh, Twitter thing that I passed around already. Um, <laughs> so this is another example of helping um, users engage with the event they're in. Um, sometimes they want to uh, find a schedule and they can't find it anywhere, but uh, take a picture of one of the collateral that's hanging around anywhere. And I mean, it can also be expanded to many other things. Like um, at the time, Dylan's Candy Bar, um, we had email. So now um, Twitter um, added some new extra features to their API. So we decided to do something like this. And uh, this is another great way to help with the campaign scavenger hunt. And if you know, the, the uh, possibilities are endless, actually. And um, that, 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 that's the last 
example we have with uh, uh, YMO reality, it's, uh, it's basically it's a new universal reader, an, an application you will use on, on your phone to read QR code, and uh, they have their special QR code that they, they created that more that, like, nicer than the, the traditional one. And they, they activate also image recognition. They are uh, working with, um, with the movie industry and in Hollywood, and they, are, uh, they, they, uh, they manage the campaign of um, uh, Karate Kid and uh, social networks where they will uh, ask people to get to, to take pictures of, uh, of the movie posters to uh, send, I mean, bring them to trailers and so on. So one, one of the cool things about using images uh, to match on, it's really easy to integrate. You don't have to you know, work with some chips or QR codes and all that stuff. Um, you, just, you just have an image that you want to match on. And um, we have an API that provides that. And actually, um, one of the best uh, proof cases of that was um, this week's hackathon. hackathon. Um, congratulations to Jeff Kiwi <laughs> for, um, for actually using our API and actually winning uh, first place um, on, on it. And he just proved to us that, actually amazed us that he uh, was able to create an app in like three hours using just image recognition. And, um, that was that was good. That was good. <laughs> Usually our customers take much more time. Yeah. <laughs> to yeah. It was a, it was a really interesting app too. It was really useful. I think uh, I look forward to seeing it in the app store too. It's what it does. It's uh, it's actually called uh, Huey Kablooey. Uh, I hope I said that right. <laughs> and uh, basically, what you do is you take a picture of a comic strip, and then you can take it to go. So let's say the comic strip is fixed in one location. You take a picture of that and then you bring it with you on your mobile phone. So I mean, sometimes it might be printed on, uh, on a newspaper or, um, or some poster somewhere, and this way you could uh, take it with you to read more. And, uh, it's, it's just yeah, one great example. It's, uh, wow, it's amazing how quick it took to, to do. <laughs> we, took more time. we take more time to do it ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we actually would spend more time doing it ourselves. <laughs> um, even though it's, uh, it might be simple, on the outside, um, we actually have a lot going on behind the scenes. Uh, I'm actually not going to go through all of that right now. It might be too complex. But if you guys have questions on how everything works behind the scenes, um, you're more than welcome to come up and ask us uh, later on. Um, the main thing that the, the front end user and developer they see is usually steps one, seven, and two. I mean, everything else is in the back end that we handle. It's just all the image processing. Um, with, with this new thing that we had, uh, Pixlink, um, it does all the database for you as well, and so it's, it, it makes it really easy to integrate. And um, so, yeah, and, and, and so saying that, so now where, where we are at two is, uh, is, is something, we, we are a technology company, so we are a lot of researchers, we are working with uh, research labs, and um, the future for us is, is, um, is really First of all, something that you know we uh, we are struggling with, which is really difficult, but uh, that's that's really what people are asking for. So, like really the the three D objects and the whole thing about um, image 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 recognition technology is not that it's not to solve the problem; it's to to induce to it. It's like to make it cheap, because uh, it's always possible to recognize crazy things and to do crazy things, but then you need so many computers that doesn't make sense. So. That was the whole story about what we are doing. Is really to make it quick and not too expensive, and that's a, that's that's a real challenge. And in that case, we are uh, preparing the future where uh, all your camera will have a, a stereoscopic uh, um, a picture, so you can take picture of object in 3D already. So recognize with uh, 3D object will make sense in a way. It will it will, will be possible. Will be possible. Um, Another um, research uh, uh, project we are carrying now is uh, with uh, French television around uh, classifying uh, uh, videos. So uh, um, it's automatic tagging of videos. Uh, tagging of videos is a little bit easy because you have several frames to do that, even if the, the whole concept is not that easy when you have to make the difference between uh, football, soccer, and, uh, and rugby, for example. It's, the, the rules are different, but the, the computer won't, won't catch it. So, uh, but uh, at the end, it makes sense to them. There are so many, co so much content. It's difficult for them to classify it automatically. So that was a, a great help for them. And um, another example, an another thing we are working on is really uh, is logo logo recognition, and that's a, a different problem because 
Uh, in that case, recognizing a logo when it's just in front of you, it's, it's, it, uh, and, the, and when it's the main subject of the, of the photo, is, is easy. Uh, when, you, when we are talking about product placement, it becomes very complex because uh, uh, we are talking about, um, for example, uh, watching um, a sport event and trying to recognize all the logos all the time because that's what brands would like to know. For example, they would pay to cover an event, so they would pay a lot to put their logos on the field and they would like to, see, to know exactly what was the coverage of the TV channel on their logo. So, uh, it's, it's a very complex um, and it requires to be done in real time, so that's, that's something we are, we are working on. Uh, it can be applied also to brand monitoring, and uh, uh, brands are spending quite a lot of money on monitoring what's being said around them on internet, uh, e-reputation, on social networks, and so on, and uh, using images to see where uh, the logo are, are, are and uh, where the brands and the products, where they can have been shot by, uh, by um, photo. Uh, that's that's something they are tracing in. So that's that's one of our um, uh, focus right now. So um, if you guys are interested in trying out image recognition, we have um, actually our company is LT Technologies. We have a developer network that uh, allows any developer to try it out. Or if you have a company, um, we have a full staff a sales team that's looking for new people. Um, PixSync is one of our uh, newest products. Uh, it's, it's basically lets you create an application without having to fully develop something. So it's it's a lot easier for people who are not developers to to start off using image recognition right off the bat. And something even easier is um, look that up. Uh, we actually have an iPhone app in the app store called Look That Up. That we have like maybe several million images enrolled, um, including movie posters, um, uh, beer, wine bottles. Some of CD covers, CD covers, yeah, it's a whole bunch of stuff. Um, if you guys are interested in taking a look at that, uh, that, that just shows you that what, what can be done with um, the, the technology. And in fact, if you could actually register on lookthatup.com and enroll your own objects and um, pictures and actually test it on the app itself and see how well it can perform with uh, what you want to do.